so let me just give you a little bit of a scenario here. I've got um, uh, two companies, Urban Threads and Pixel Beat Studios. And um, the Urban Threads company want to launch a limited edition of a clothing line. They've approached for studios to be able to use their uh, characters that they, they use within a video game. So we want, we've got a, um, a, a, trade, a, a trademark license agreement. And what I want to do is to see if it matches how it comes applies with another document, a, a guide, a drafting guide of what should be included within this particular um, this contract. So what clauses should be there? I want to know if they're there, if they are, do they comply? What needs to, to change if they are not? So again, let me just copy and paste the prompt. OK, so let's have a look at it. You are a AI, uh, you are a, not an AI, a legal assistant acting for solicitor rep, rep, uh, specializing in soft IP and media, media law. You have access to a drafting guide, and this is the drafting guide that I'm referring to. So again, I'm going to take that out and put in the drafting guide what I want so it might not be here so I'm just going to very quickly go to find it from here you don't have to embed the the, the uh, refer to the file directly in, in the middle of the prompt you can just put everything at the end which sometimes is easier to do so again I'm looking in this case for a trademark license agreement the guide I think Uh, what was it? Trademark licensing guide. Trademark licensing guide. Okay, here. And uh, I'm going to refer to the agree. Okay, let's do that again in a minute. Let's Okay, uh, and that, so this outlines the, sta the standard sections, expected content and drafting considerations. Again, we can have a quick look at that. That's opening. While we do that, um, uh, so this agreement is, between, is uh, to be reviewed under UK law. Review the draft agreement. So the actual agreement itself, again, uh, draft agreement, trade law licensing 01. So again, I'm just going to refer to that again here actually i might already be here no again let's browse files project a you got onboarding and this is trademark license zero one okay let's put it in alphabetical order it makes it a lot easier Okay, that's that one. I'm going to attach that. Okay, so just in the meantime, it doesn't look like oh, didn't open up the file. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at the the guide itself. So it's a very basic guide, not much in it. But again, in 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 real life, you must more might have a, something much more detailed of what again what should be and what shouldn't be within a particular contract, like a, a, a you know a standard that you want to review against. Uh, so let me just close that down. So we we we're asking now to perform a review. What do we want back? We said we want to identify any omissions, risks, and deviations from best practices based on specific clause by clause drafting guide. So again, let's go and have a look and see what it returns. So it's looking at each clause, it's reviewing each clause. So we can, we can try and stop it here. The agreement allocates marketing responsibility does not set minimum advertising commitments. So giving an opinion there. 
uh, term and termination review agreements for a third day notice period termination, but does not include provisions for terminating due to breach. OK, so again, it gives you I would think I hope that would be the helpful. And at the end, some recommendations, uh, add definition clause, specify territory term, uh, add confidentiality obligations on so on. So again, as we've been saying, we mustn't rely on this to solely be you know, the, um, the the review itself, uh, everything in this uh, review that's been done is, you know, exactly as a the end result you want to be. You need to still go and perform the review, but at least, you know, you already got half of it, uh, more than half of it done, I want to say. You, you're not starting off with a blank screen. You, um, you, you know, you, you, you've you got that starting guy. It means the actual review you're going to do is going to be uh, much uh, quicker um, than uh, if you were just starting from scratch. Save you some time there. And again, we've got the option for it to uh, uh, regenerate, uh, modify the, uh, the original problem.